Oh god, wait, their light's not on, I need my, I need my effects light. Boom! Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, so today we're going to be doing a bit of a fitness Q&A, okay, questions that I regularly get asked about my fitness routine, my favourite exercise, I like my favourite fitness session, steroids, what I eat, how much I weigh, like my weekly routine, what I train and what do I train, loads of different bits and bobs. Um, this could be a really boring topic for some people, but just stay for the ride anyway. So first of all, we're going to go for lunch. You can come with me. Lovely little cafe down the road. James, my housemate, is going to come. He's just sweating on Call of Duty at the moment. So yeah, we'll go for a nice little lunch together. Then when I get back, we will answer all of these questions and it's going to be lovely. Sweet. So we're just going down to the car park now. James has had his car recently like MOT done up. So, James, what have they what have they done to it? Could you tell me? Just put a new engine in. Yeah. Put a bit of lights in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's this one. That's fine. Yeah, it's a lovely little cafe, and they do awesome food. So we're gonna go get some food. Because uh, this morning I've done all my fitness and gym stuff, so I'm a bit tired. So a nice feed will be lovely. And we decided to wear the same shoes out today because it, you know it just makes us feel a bit closer and more friendly. So. We decided to match up our shoes so that if we lose each other, you know, we'll always come back. Um, there you go. Yeah. What are you out there? Thank you very much. Cheers. Love you, James. I love you. I'm going for the grilled lemon and herb salad with roasted butternut squash, tomatoes, avocado, and feta. So we have got. It just looks good. How's that Langy? <laughs> <laughs> this looks really, this is like the perfect post-gym feed. Done. We're home! Well that was a lovely lunch day, wasn't it? That meal was needed. That meal was lovely. Right, let's get down to the questions. First of all, I'll introduce myself for those of you who don't know. Hiya, I'm Tom, I'm 22, I play rugby, I'm a personal trainer, um, and I weigh 80 kilograms. Question one, what is my gym routine on an average week? Okay, let me tell you. So I train four days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Ideally, I'd like to spread those days out a little bit more in the week and have a rest day in the middle of the week. However, I have rugby on the weekends. I play rugby on a Saturday. So finishing my training on a Thursday after four days of training, you know, allows adequate rest time. So that's why I do that. Training wise, in those four days of training, I will do two upper body sessions and two lower body sessions. On top of all those sessions, I will do a fitness session as well. So that's four weight sessions and four fitness sessions in a week. Lovely. So the type of training, for me, I, you know, I incorporate a few different things. I try and hit strength. I try and hit some explosive movements because, you know, that's good for my rugby. I like doing a bit of hypertrophy because it's, you know, it's nice to mix up my training. It's nice to get like a, a pump on, make sure that I hit my sort of main compound lifts. My bench press, my squat, my deadlift. I make sure I hit them because, you know, they're, they're really good for full body strength. But apart from that, I don't really follow a specific uh, plan. I just do what I feel and I feel as though that's really important to make sure your training is fresh and fun. Next question, what is my favourite fitness session? Um, people will be thinking, there's no such thing as fun fitness. <laughs> if you've watched my Instagram stories, I'm always running or rowing or I do enjoy swimming, do a little bit of cycling on the watt bike. Uh, but for me, honestly, it's got to be running. I find it quite therapeutic. Get a really good Spotify playlist, okay? Get some running tunes where you're running down the road, waving at the neighbours, just, it's lovely. And also when you start to get fitter and you sort of feel that progress in your body, you will start to enjoy it more. So for me, you know, I, I started doing 5K runs and then I sort of started challenging myself. So I sort of got that time and I thought I want to beat that. So for me now, I sort of enjoy, you know, pushing myself. So for me, it's got to be running. 
you weirdo. Okay, so I get asked this a lot. How do I constantly stay motivated to train all of the time? Okay, so I've got a few answers for this. I had a little think about this one, but I'm gonna come at it with a few angles. Okay, so number one, as I mentioned before, I keep my training fresh and I always mix it up. If you go into the gym and do the same thing every day, it's a little bit tedious. So for me, I always mix up my training, mix up my fitness sessions, and that keeps me nice and motivated. Point two, you're gonna have a huge part of your life when you get older, you slow down, and you're not gonna be as agile and athletic and able as you are in these youthful days. So I would just say, for, for me, I just think, I look at the bigger picture, I get a little bit emotional, I look at the bigger picture and I think, look, right now I wanna see how fit I can get myself, I wanna see how, how, how far I can push my body, uh, because there's plenty of time, you know, once you're married, you can just get fat and sit down because you've just you've secured your wife. Just move while you can. Stand up. I think another one, staying motivated, is setting goals. Okay, I think that is so important. You've got to have a reason to get up and go out. I don't I don't like getting up early. When Sally's come round, done my bed sheets and I'm in bed, I don't want to get up early and go run outside in the gaining wind. However, you know, if I set a goal, the goal is right, I want to beat that 5k time. I have that sort of inner competition. I'm a little bit obsessed, yes, as my mother always tells me, but I do have that sort of, I have, I always set little goals. So for you, I think set a goal, whether it be get fitter or lose weight or put on weight, you need to have sort of a motive to get up and do something. So, because then otherwise you just think, why am I doing this? To set a goal and then you can answer yourself why you're doing this. And then finally on the motivation thing is, you know, people can put these sort of inspiring words out there and say, you know, do this, do that. But it's got to be your inner drive and your true want to do something. That comes down to your mentality and yourself. If you don't really want something, you're not going to do it. So just find the reason and go get it, Tiger. You've got this. Steroids. What are my thoughts on steroids? Um, well, first of all, no, I've never done steroids because I'm the first of a little boy. But that's that out of the question. However, my thoughts on steroids, um, it depends what you're doing. If you're a bodybuilder and you're competing with five other guys that are all on steroids, you know, you might have to do steroids because then it's not an equal playing field. Uh, my personal view is though, I'm all about living a healthy, active lifestyle, so I don't want to put something which is not very natural into my body because it, it you know, it goes against my sort of motives of living a healthy lifestyle. I wouldn't say it's very healthy. So for me, I'm, I'm all right, thank you. Moving on, food consumption. What do I eat? First of all, I'm not gonna go on too long about this because I did a video previously, what I eat to get shredded before this. So go and check that out and that'll show you the sort of meals that I eat. I would say is what I eat is a very balanced diet. It's very consistent. Okay, like 95% of the food I eat is very natural from God's earth, it's been grown on the planet, none of it's really processed, okay? So combining that natural food with my, you know, my fitness routine, it works wonders, okay? And you know, you've always got these wizards online saying what you need to eat and how much, I mean, this specific amount and stuff, and you know, that's all good and well and lovely and there's lots of research behind it, but at the end of the day, everybody's different, everybody requires different amounts, so just listen to your buddy, body, understand what works for you and just play with different portions, play with different foods, okay, and combining that with like a good fitness plan, you will see results. So that has been, you know, just a little simple video about me and my fitness routine and self and food and some just some lovely questions so you can get to know me a little bit more. Do message me and throw any more sort of questions out there if you want me to be a little bit more specific with anything else. Do let me know. Um, but it's been nice talking um, and we should do this again sometime so yeah please subscribe and like the video thanks for watching and I hope it wasn't too boring I know we didn't we just sort of went for a little lunch but I hope it wasn't too boring anyway see you later